Hello, Saka fan. Hi, I'm Roma and welcome to my kitchen. Today I will be making a red curry shrimp with vegetables. If you want to see how I make this recipe, keep watching. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And hit that notification bell so you never miss an episode. Now let's get cooking. These are all the ingredients that we are going to use to make our curry. The exact amount will be in the description bar below. We have some shrimps, some coconut milk, red curry paste, onion, garlic, and we have an assortment of vegetables. I'm going to put some garlic and I'm going to add a little salt to that. I'm going to pound this into a paste. We're just covering it up a bit with my hands so they don't fly out. And you can see it's coming into a little piece there. So that's just to break it down. The salt does that and you get a nice garlic piece. That's it. Okay, so we're going to put that aside. I'm going to chop these up. Now, these have the shell on, so I'm just going to pull them off and open it up, take it from the bottom and give it a little tug, like a squeeze, and you just pull it out. And these shrimps are from Argentina. They are the wild caught shrimps and the color is pink. It's a little different from the regular ones, but these these are very good and they um, I like the fact that they are wild caught. The veins are already removed. So it's just a shell. Yeah. Just give it another rinse there. All right, guys, let's get cooking. First, we're gonna turn this on and let the pan heat up a bit. So first, we are going to add a little bit of cooking oil. Just wanna get that heated up a bit. And I have it really high, so I just wanna get it hot and then I'm gonna turn it down all right guys it's nice and hot so let's put some onions in here and we're just going to cook that down a bit and now you can see my the onions are cooking down and getting really there, so we just add in the garlic shape to it now. I'm going to turn it down because I don't want the garlic to burn. So we want to keep stirring that. This dish is packed with flavor. Uh, you can also use yellow curry, which I do sometimes. But today we're just giving it a little Thai spin. So we're using the red curry. Good. And now we add the coconut milk. I'm going to take my curry and put it in some water so I can just dissolve it faster. Now, if you were using the yellow curry, you would just put it right into the pan wouldn't need to put the water in there but this because it's a paste it's so thick so this is just to speed up the process of dissolving it and I'm just going to add it right to my coconut and I'm going to 
Ja. I'm just going to pour these in. You know, the curry, sort of all over them, and I'm going to put a little parsley in there, some green onions. Just going to cover it up. I'm just going to bring this to a boil and let it cook for five minutes. And after five minutes, I will put the shrimps in and just cook it for another five minutes. Now, once it starts boiling, I am going to cook it without the lid because if you leave the lid on, it's just going to keep uh, sprouting water and the vegetables. I have one minute left before I add my shrimp, so I'm just going to taste it and see how the salt is. We're fine. Mm, that's nice. I love salt. Now we are going to put our shrimps in. And these are, are going to take long to cook. I don't want to do them for too long, so five more minutes. I did keep it on the higher heat in order to um, get the reduction so it's not um, too runny. Soon as our shrimps turn pink, we don't want to overcook them. So. The shrimps are done. See, they cook now. You don't want to overcook them. Okay, so that's it. It's ready. And you can see this is good. You can have that with some basmati rice, anything you like. It's really good. It has a lot of flavor. That's it, guys. Oh, that is delicious. Wow. This is good. It's not overly spiced. Mmm. Delicious! I wish you could taste it. And here you have it guys, our red curry shrimp with vegetables. Thank you for watching and we'll see you again next time. Bye!